My name is Leslie Discount Burian. I'm a Northeast Ohio artist, and I feel very fortunate that I was able to participate in this project interpreting Sonata Number no. Five by Ryan Charles Raymore. I was really delighted to take part because I listen to classical music and I listen to opera. It's the only music that I listen to, specifically classical, because there are no words. And with um, opera, it's another language, so I don't know the words, and I love the dramatization. The movement that inspired me the most was the third movement. Parts of the, the last movement, but really the third. I felt in the third movement, there were some very strong patterns. Uh, there was repetition, there was pause. I heard a lot of lights and darks, and um, it was very mysterious. As an abstract artist, my, my work is emotive, and I like to make order out of chaos, and we, we do know that there's a lot of chaos in the world, so. This piece that I did is called Entracte, and that is a French word and it means between the acts or, the, or a pause, an intermission. And because I didn't listen to uh, the sonata while I was working, I, I worked during the pauses. When I work, I work in complete silence, except for the sounds of mark making. Uh, when I work, I use a full arm and uh, the marks take me to a, uh, a place of uh, guided imagery. When I do the torsos, which is a recurring theme, the torsos, they have no head. There's just a body, minimal arms, but the power is, is at the core, and it's all based on feeling imperfection. It's a truth that I like to go to often. In, in the music, I heard a lot of swirling sounds, and it's one reason I, I picked the torso as a subject matter, because I do, as you see, there's a lot, I do a lot of swirling motion and, and, and sounds. So everything has to be raw emotion, raw feeling. It's, it's, it's truth. extension of the, the work that I did um, of, for Entract and the virus, um, this is my outcome from that and it's a work in progress. I'm trying to determine how I can use the torso and, and show reflection and um, bounce, bouncing color off of something else. So this is, I'm experimenting of how to collect a reflection from the back of my piece to a wall or maybe even metal. But um, I, I think it's a, a direction that I'm going to enjoy and I'm grateful that I had this project to do, which now, and can I be grateful for the virus? No, but <laughs> it led me, it's leading me to another, on another road. So it's pretty cool. So 
um, when I when I began the piece, it was before COVID-19, before the pandemic, and um, everything was just kind of humming along. I had about you know five or six pieces I was working on simul simultaneously. That's one of them. But then the pandemic came, and I started thinking about you know the virus, and I was listening to the music, and I heard a lot of bouncing. Um, wonderful bouncing and I'm thinking of the virus bouncing off of bodies and I thought I was thinking well maybe I could take the torso and add some sort of a reflection so it meant cutting the torso and I painted the back a bright yellow green virus green so when I'm hearing the bouncing of the music and then I'm thinking of the bouncing of a virus, you know, it's taking me on, onto a new path and I'm exploring, so now I'm exploring, you know, changing the torso. When I was working, I started reading about the similarities between um, music and art when it comes to the principles of music and art. They, they have the same principles. There's pattern, there's um, texture, there's uh, balance, there's line. It, it's amazing the similarities between the two art forms. Thank you very much. I love doing this project.